Have you ever wondered how LLMs are getting so good at things like solving hard math problems, writing poems, or even developing code? It's thanks to a powerful technique called Mixture of Experts, or MOE in short, which is built on top of the traditional transformer architecture. Hi, I'm Daria, and I research LLMs here at Cerebris. LLMs are based on a transformer architecture, and it's made of layers. There are three types of layers, embedding, attention, and feedforward blocks. Embedding layers, for example, convert words into the numerical representation that LLM can understand. Attention layers, on the other hand, analyze the relationship between these words, figuring out which are the most important to focus on. And finally, we have one set of fully connected layers, also known as feedforward blocks. These layers have the toughest job. We believe that this is where the model disentangles information, like separating a neuron to activate when the golden gate breaches in a text. It's difficult for a standard transformer model to do all of these things effectively with just one set of fully connected layers. Now, let me explain how LLM would process a simple sentence like this one. To understand it, LLM needs to do a lot. It needs to understand grammar and identify Albert Einstein as the subject. It also needs to know scientific terminology and recognize the theory of relativity and physicists. And yet, it also needs to specialize in historical figures and time periods and to understand what's early 20th century. How do we help LLMs answer complex, nuanced statements across multiple subject areas? This is where MOE comes in. It defines a set of specialized, fully connected layers that we call experts. Think of each expert as focusing on a specific type of information, like grammar, scientific terms, or a historical context. But how do we connect these layers together? We do it through a gating mechanism. This mechanism sits between the attention layers and the feedforward layers, and it directs each word or token to the right expert as it travels through the network. Instead of every token taking the same path from the bottom to the top of the transformer, the gating mechanism allows each token to take a different horizontal route as well, leading to the expert best suited to understand it. Now, let me explain how it affects the performance of the model. First, MOE is more efficient. By activating only the necessary experts for a given task, we avoid wasting compute. This means faster processing and reduced energy consumption. Second, MOE is more scalable. We can simply add more experts to the network and grow the capacity of the model without affecting its computational costs as opposed to the monolithic transformer model, where growing capacity or simply increasing the parameter count directly affects the computational costs. And third, MOE is more accurate. Imagine the lost landscape representing the possible solution to a problem. A traditional transformer might get stuck as a suboptimal point on this landscape, but with MOE, its diverse experts can explore the landscape more effectively, leading to a better solution overall. And finally, MOE gives us finer control over the trade-offs between the compute power and memory usage. By adjusting the number of total experts, the number of active experts, and the size of each expert, we can optimize the model for different hardware constraints. I believe that mixture of experts is a key technology driving the next generation of LLMs. The human brain, for example, only activates a tiny fraction to process inputs. It's extremely efficient. So it's likely we need the capabilities that mixture of experts provides to deal with the information the world throws at us. At Cerebras, we are analyzing these models from every angle to understand how they work and how they make them even more efficient. We are also developing new techniques to unlock even larger expert counts, making LMs more scalable and capable than ever before. Stay tuned to hear our new ML findings. I'm also curious about what you guys are building and researching. Drop a comment under this video and let us know. Thank you.